Fiber cement board is composed primarily of natural materials. It's a mixture of about 90% Portland sand and cement, 7% cellulose fiber such as wood pulp, and about 3% water with other additives. The first step in the process is creating a slurry mixture where the wood pulp is ground down. The wood pulp will act as a mat for the other ingredients to adhere to. To remove the excess water, the slurry mixture is combed with large screens called sieves, which act much like a spaghetti colander to drain the slurry. Left behind is a mat, which is picked up by barrel rollers. With each pass, a new layer is added to the barrel, and slowly the thickness of the mat increases. These multiple layers ensure consistency and durability. It takes six sieves to make one layer, and three layers to make one board that is 5 sixteenths of an inch thick. Next, the new sheet goes on a large embossing roller where a pattern is stamped on. Different types of patterns can be designed to mimic many natural materials. The sheets then go through a sheet machine, which has many checkpoints to test the quality of the product. Once the sheets have passed quality checks, they're staged for pre-curing. Cement needs to be cured to reach full strength and durability. These sheets will go into an autoclave which uses high temperatures and pressure to speed up the curing process. After 12 hours, the sheets are cured. Then they're cut into appropriate sized boards and enter the paint line. Special paint is used and mixed on site. This paint is applied in multiple coats, allowing the paint to bend with the board. Another quality check tests the boards where some are rejected and recycled by going back to the beginning of the process. Finally, a laminate is applied and the board is installed with the laminate on. The full process takes about 48 hours and is never touched. It's all automated and goes through about 60 quality checks.